Night's uh, big storms causing thousands of power outages around the state. At last check, we have more than 40,000, 47,000 Eversource customers currently off the grid. About 300 UI customers currently without power. Those numbers have gone up over the past hour and a half or so. Of course, stay with News 8 on air online. We'll keep you up to date with the power situation statewide throughout this morning. And a shout out and thank you to the crews working hard at this hour to restore Absolutely. power. And the damage really from last night's storm, it stretched all across Connecticut. All right, let's get right out to News 8's Ken Houston, who's live in Bristol, where a massive tree fell outside of some apartments. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Keith and Alyssa. Yeah, this is definitely an, just an amazing situation out here. We're told that the winds blew through here at around 1030 last night. Let me step out of the way so I can show you exactly what happened. We had two trees that appear to be joined together out here. One fell to the right and is now resting on the right-hand side of this building here. The other fell to the left and is resting on top of several vehicles. Let me give you an even better picture uh, an aerial view of what's going on right here. That tree limb that is uh, that tree limb that is down over these vehicles right here. That's a total of seven vehicles. The red vehicle belongs to one of the residents out here that we spoke to, and here's what he had to say. I'm surprised. I mean, I was hopeful last night that I didn't. You know, that my car was fine. My car, I thought it was just a windshield that was shattered last night looking at it. Uh, but it's my whole, like, roof is caved in. The whole, everything's caved in and completely totaled. The roofs of all of these vehicles actually are caved in this morning. And uh, as I said, it's just un an unbelievable sight out here. And the good news is that no one was injured as a result of what happened out here. Of course, we'll be out here all morning long to bring you the very latest on this situation in Bristol. Back to you guys there in the studio. Wow.